Welcome back, y'all, to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to preview the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Baltimore Ravens. Enjoying a little scenery, not too far from the crib. But let's roll the intro and get this thing started. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. <laughs> All right, let's start this thing off by talking about the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Baltimore Ravens. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that like button. If you've not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well and hit that bell so you can be notified when these videos drop throughout the 2024 season. Game one starts tomorrow, kicks off the 2024 season. The Kansas City Chiefs will be receiving their Super Bowl rings, um, I'm sure at some point, probably pregame. But let's talk about the matchups. Kansas City offense, starting off with their new additions. They added Hollywood Brown. He's going to be out, so he's not a factor in this game today, but he will be a factor at some point throughout their season. They drafted Xavier Worthy, the fastest man to ever run at the Combine. We know what he's going to bring as far as trying to take the top off the offense. Hopefully we'll put an end to that you know, with our addition as well on the quarterback side. So I'm interested to match up to see if him and Wiggins match up. Also, they added Kingsley, some uh, – I always mess his name up, but I mess it up a lot during the draft. It's some Maraia, some Maraia, some, close to that, close to that. Charge to my head, not my heart. But from BYU, left tackle out of BYU, and he's going to start at left tackle. Now, on the offensive side, what I want to say is where we can take advantage of it, I think it's Kingsley. He's going to be starting left tackle. He's a rookie. So I think it's up to Owe, Cal Van Noy, David Ojabo, to some kind of way, take advantage of Kingsley. Um, I'm just going to keep saying Kingsley because I don't want to keep butchering this last name. To take advantage of him some kind of way. He's the only rookie on that line. Their three interior guys are extremely stout, and they bring it back uh, Juwan Taylor. So we got to find a way to take advantage of the rookie and pass uh, protection. And it's going to be extremely important to do that because we need to get pressure on those guys with four. Blitz sparingly, but... Take advantage of that rookie left tackle and get pressure on him by four. We need to try to eliminate free releases and those quick, early access throws where Kelsey can get simple catches and, and have 11 targets for nine catches. And the last time we played him, Kelsey had 11 targets for 11 catches. So we need to eliminate that. And if you can go back and watch the video I did yesterday about how to try to contain Kelsey, you'll see ways I think that we can contain Kelsey. Let's talk about the other side of the ball. And this is going to be real quick, y'all, because it's time for talk. It's over with. Um, Kansas City defense. Big loss on that side of the ball is cornerback LeJerry Sneed. They still got Chris Jones, though, and they still got McDuffie. They got Carl Loftus over there as well. Carl Loftus had 10 and a half sacks. But I think those 10 and a half sacks can be attributed to the impact that Chris Jones has in the middle and that the attention that people have to um, pay to Chris Jones. I think now where we can get them at, Cornerback two, and cornerback two is going to be Jalen Watson or Josh Williams. Now, for us to take advantage of cornerback two, it's going to have to be Zay Flowers or Rashad Bateman, depending on where they employ Trent McDuffie. If they put McDuffie on Zay, Rashad Bateman has to have a day for whoever their cornerback two is. He has to. He has to come up big. He has to start this, this season off on a high note. And if he can do that, if he can, I mean, the, the film said he, was, he got open last year. The analytics say he was open last year. So we need for him to get open against whoever the number two cornerback is for the Chiefs and get the ball as well and, and be productive tomorrow. Also, safety number two, which I think is going to be Brian Cook. So in order to take advantage of that guy, it needs to be either Derrick Henry, maybe catching the ball at the backfield, or likely when we go 12 personnel, or even Mark, depending on if they try to embark him on uh, that. But I think they're going to use safety number one on Mark, which will be uh, Eric Reed, uh, Justin Reed, not Eric Reed, Justin Reed. So I think that's where we can take advantage of those guys on the offensive side, on the defensive side. The, the one big thing I think we need to do offensively to take advantage of uh, is run the football. The reason I say we need to run the football because is we can run outside zone with Derrick Henry and force Nick Bolton, Leo Chanel, and the other linebackers to 
be active in the run game. We can have gaps behind the linebackers in front of the safeties to throw the football. We haven't seen Lamar in the boot game yet. I'm looking forward to seeing if that's a part of the offense. And if that is a part of the offense, that's a part that we haven't unlocked. And I think that's going to be huge, not only in this game, but going forward in the 2024 season. So I really just want to come through with a quick little preview of what I think we can do to be effective versus the Kansas City Chiefs and ultimately pull out a victory versus the Kansas City Chiefs. This is Coach Evans with another episode of Sip the Tally Films and just bringing you a different location. Wanted to get out the house and um, enjoy the scenery. Not a hot day, overcast, and you know down here in Florida it gets super, super hot. Wasn't hot today, so I came outside to touch a little grass. Now I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace and love. Thank <laughs> you.